All right, now let's move on to some examples. Suppose you select a person at random from your campus. Which of these are mutually exclusive? Um, and, you know, when they say mutually exclusive, you want to think of the same term, uh, the, it as a, just a synonym for disjoint events. So um, they'll be used interchangeably. All right. Uh, has ridden a roller coaster, has ridden a Ferris wheel. Does one uh, prevent the other from happening, right? Um, in fact, you might have people who have both written, ridden roller coasters and Ferris wheel. So I would say these are non-disjoint or not mutually exclusive. Uh, listens to Beatles music, listens to Lady Gaga. Well, there's nothing that prevents people from uh, doing both, right? So I think even I have both songs on my, you know, iTunes. Um, has brown eyes, has brown hair. Well, here too, um, you could have both brown eyes and brown hair, or you could have just brown eyes, um, but other colored hair. And you could have just brown hair or other colored eyes, right? So also, non-disjoint. Uh, is left-handed and is right-handed. Um, this one, uh, your dominant hand is probably just one or the other, right? And so I would say this is probably disjoint. What pops into mind right now are the ambidextrous people, but usually ambidextrous people, even them, um, they sort of prefer one hand versus the other, uh, usually. So I'll just count it as disjoint for now. Um, has had chicken pox, has never had chicken pox. Now this one is definitely disjoint because um, you can't both have had it and not have had it at the same time. 